everyone about some disturbing new evidence tonight about one aspect of violent crime in America. As we told you last night, the FBI says violent crime dropped last year, the number of rapes down more than two and a half percent. But today, a number of women came forward to say they are rape victims, but their police department simply looked the other way in case after case. Pierre Thomas on the searing testimony. Sarah Reedy's story is going to make you angry. In 2004, Sarah was sexually assaulted during a robbery at the Pennsylvania gas station where she worked. He pulled a gun out on me. He uh, ordered me to give him moral sex at gunpoint. Did you think he might kill you? Yes, I did. You still find yourself crying? At times, yes. But when Sarah reported the crime to police, a detective accused her of lying about the assault and of robbing the gas station herself. Within minutes of meeting him, he began accusing me. He even arrested you, right? Yes. At times, I feel it would have been easier to go through the assault than the false arrest. Reedy told her story today at a congressional hearing examining whether the nation's police are failing to fully investigate sexual assaults against women. In recent years, some major police departments have reported such stunning declines in rapes that the credibility of their numbers are now being questioned. In New Orleans, a 37% decrease in rapes. In New York City, a 35.7% drop. And in Baltimore, there has been an unbelievable 80% decline in rape since the early 1990s. It was all too good to be true. In Baltimore, officers failed to even write reports and investigate 60% of cases where a victim reported rape. We are seeing chronic and systemic patterns of police refusing to accept cases for investigation. As for Sarah, police later discovered a serial rapist had been targeting women in her area. The charges against her were dropped. Did you ever get an apology from the detective? Never. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington. What about from the